welcome back to my channel it's Taylor make sure that you like comment subscribe and check out all of my other videos but today's video is going to be another home video and I'm going to be sharing with you girls how to make your space uh, gender neutral when you and your significant other like move in together um, if you're moving in with your boyfriend if you're moving in with your husband um, if you are a girl like me you love home decor you like interior designing, you like HGTV and all of those good things. Um, but you're also very, very feminine and your man may not be trying to live in a pink sparkly palace and he may be tired of you taking up all of the counter space in the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. Um, so you may need some help trying to make your place uh, for both of you. Uh, to make him feel like he lives there and that he's at home and not that he's just visiting you um, So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks and I hope that it helps um, So yeah, let's just get into the video Okay, y'all. so I think that this is important because you know You're the queen of the house and your man is the king of the house and you want your space to look like both of you You want it to reflect both of you um, when my fiance and I moved in together, it was really important to me that when people visited us that they didn't know if like a man or a woman lived there. Like obviously they knew a man and a woman lived there, but I wanted to look, I wanted it to look very, uh, gender neutral, um, because I wanted him to feel at home too. I didn't want it to just feel like, you know, my space. I wanted him to be at peace too so i had a lot of fun uh decorating our place uh and making it serene and peaceful and homey for both of us so i just wanted to share um some things that helped me make our space reflective of both of us okay so the first thing was the color palette now when i lived on my own or when my fiance and i didn't live together Everything was very feminine, very pastel, very sparkly, uh, the glass mirrored furniture, all of those things. But when you're moving in with a significant other, in this case a man, and if you guys plan on like getting married and having kids, that's not practical. Like mirrored furniture isn't practical for children. Um, so that's something that like my fiance actually pointed out to me and now when I shop for furniture pieces for our home I think long term like is this practical for a child if uh, my child spills something on this furniture am I gonna be distraught is it easy to clean so if you're working towards having a family that's just something to think about while you're decorating um, but the first thing that I addressed was the color palette because I knew that the pastel pink and and the lilac <laughs> And, and the iridescent sparkles just wasn't gonna fly. Um, so I really do enjoy neutral pastels like grays, browns, light blues, beige. So that's kind of like the theme of our place is like neutral uh, pastels. We don't really have anything super light. We don't really have anything super dark. I also wanted um, our kind of aesthetic of our home to be year round. I love decorating. I love going out and buying the Christmas stuff and the Thanksgiving stuff. But outside of the holidays, I don't really like to switch out like our furniture or our decorations, our home decor too much. Like I'm not the girl that is going to have like a million throw pillows on the couch. That just wasn't us. So we went with like a neutral color palette and, and minimalism. Like minimalism was very important for us. We're quite minimal people we like uh, multi-functioning pieces um, so yeah so I would say start with the color palette so it looks like both of you now whether you guys are like more earthy or dark tone or if you like more uh, vibrant springtime colors just figure out what you and you know your person like um, the next thing was the furniture like I already said uh, practical pieces that would that would last that would be sturdy uh, that are kid friendly because we want we do want to have kids one day so figure out what furniture type um, you like if you like you know the the mirror furniture and the elegant things um, and if you don't want to have kids 
that's perfect for you, girl. It's, it's the aesthetic. Um, but think about your relationship uh, and your home long term. Uh, for example, this futon is in our gray theme. Um, and it's very sturdy. We actually got a, a Walmart for like maybe like $280. Um, and it's a futon, so our guests sleep here uh, when we have them. So that's just, you know, an example. It doesn't have to be like super duper expensive furniture unless that's something you want. Um, our focus was just nice, functional, long lasting. We have a few fancy pieces here and there, but for the most part, we were going for functional, minimalism, um, neutral, right? And the last thing that I have for you guys is do little things or implement little things around your house that make your person, your man, uh, feel included. So my fiance loves chocolate, specifically Kit Kats and Reese's, but we have a candy jar on our kitchen table that is kind of just for him, I don't really eat from it. Um, and then uh, when it can, when it came to our bathroom organization, that was kind of like, I feel like a bigger area for us. I have, uh, before, before we moved in together, um, I had like those like Lazy Susan um, tower things for like all my skincare or whatever. But that took up a lot of space and I knew that that wasn't going to work when we moved in together. So then I switched to like a, a travel bag for all of my skincare and I got him one too for like his brush and deodorants, uh, hair products and all that kind of stuff. So just doing little things that make him feel included, asking him about like the furniture pieces that he liked because he is... He likes to lounge on the couch, so uh, we made sure that we picked out like a comfortable couch um, that he liked. Just getting his input on things around the house, things that he's definitely gonna like take advantage of. So that was it, y'all. This was like a super short video. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.